Hello everyone, this is Chris for Midwest Coast Fans bringing you a GCI hybrid track installation from Fun Spot Orlando. Please hit that subscribe button, the bell notification button for future videos that'll drop down for Midwest Coaster fans. As you can see from here, this construction update is from today, which is September 16, 2020. The construction crew was heavily at work earlier this morning when we took this video. You can see that the hybrid track is fully installed and they are just working on finishing the track work surrounding it. And you can see there's kind of like you still have the wooden planks that are supporting the actual track uh, that looks like it has not been reinforced but this new track is probably strong enough where you don't need additional reinforcements on the actual track pieces i tried to ask a worker this morning when they would be completed with this and he got busy or he wasn't able to answer me but i imagine they're going to finish the installation of this today and then tomorrow is going to start the testing progress or they might test later on the day and then open it to the public tomorrow i know definitely it'll probably be open to the public by friday so if you're looking to come out here to test out this new track i would estimate probably friday would be the best case scenario on this and taking a look at this again you could definitely see how this track does now this track was released at iapa last year as a prototype obviously they built the first piece to be installed over here on white lightning white lightning is probably their test subject to see how it goes before they do full installation on new coasters in the future or before they replace track pieces on other coasters throughout the country kind of competing with rmc giving rmc a run for its money on this but this track work is interesting because it's not that big of a section i'd say maybe 100 to a 200 foot section not even that probably a 100 foot section of track that's it and this is the prototype that they released at iapa last year from great coasters international and you kind of see the similarities in it and that is exactly what it's going to look like on top of that track now if we go back to the video footage here you'll get a closer up image of this you could see that it's exactly the same type of track that was released last year now, when I get a chance to ride this on Friday when it opens or whenever it opens this week, I will let you know the different ride experience, but I don't know if 100 feet worth of track is going to be enough to be able to tell the difference. I know it's going to be smoother. I know White Lightning, uh, last time I rode it, the problem area was actually the turnaround more so than this area. I don't remember this area really being an issue, but this is probably the easiest area to test this at. And then I imagine they're going to install it throughout other areas. Now, I heard this is due to high tension points. So sometimes this track might only be used for high tension points to prevent that area from experiencing more wear and tear than other parts of the track. So if that's the case, then I could see it maybe being added in the double downs on White Lightning and the turnaround. And then the rest of it, I think, would be fine. And maybe that first drop right there at the end of the first drop adding it on there as well let me know what you think on this please comment below and uh, let me know what you think about this and uh, i'll have more updates on this coaster here at fun spot orlando as they become readily available i am actually going out there at least once a day to check on the progress of this so with that being said please like i said hit that subscribe button bell notification button and like button and look for future videos to drop down for midwest coaster fans until next time this is Chris signing off. Thanks again for watching.